okay so now we have the next uh, experiment is to verify the thermion's theorem so for that the circuit we have considered is this it's like a bridge circuit it is having four arms p q r s now let me show you what are the p q r s over here now see here that the two nodes across p that is a and b so here this arm is considered to be p which have two terminals a and b next is b and c across which q is connected okay so this two point we have considered to be b and c terminals and this is the q so let me write it over here this is p this is q okay Achha. next is across c and d s is connected so c is considered to be this and d and therefore this one is s s and which one is left that is R and which is connected across A and D. So, A and D and this one is R. Okay. There should not be any confusion regarding this base circuit. Now, one thing is left. That is RL. The load resistance which is variable. So, this one is the variable resistance which is this rheostat. Okay. And this is connected across CA. So, this is C and this is A. And the voltage source which is considered to be this this one is connected across B and D. So, let me show you how the connection is being done. So, this source is connected across B and D. So, we have connected here B and this is D. So, this two has been connected like this. Okay. Achha. Now, this D and this D shorted. Right. Another thing is that A and A shorted. And another B and B shorted and C, C short, shorted and this C is also connected here. Okay. And this is A, another A terminal. Okay. So, this one is shorted. Now, ammeter is inserted here with RL. That means across C and A, one ammeter is connected. So, this ammeter is here. So, this is connected across C and A. Okay. So, across C and A, it is in, uh, in series, okay, you can see over here, it is connected, right. So, this is C, this is A point. Through resistor. Through, through resistor. Resist, through yeah. resistor, it is connected. Through, uh, through resistor, it is connected and across this load, one voltmeter is connected. So, that voltmeter is coming here. This is the voltmeter we are using over here. It is connected across the load resistance here it is the load resistance right so this is all about the circuit connection now what are the run run is first we will set the rheostat at a particular value say we are keeping this at 50 percent value so let me let me It's almost 50 percent it is almost 50 percent and it is a 100 ohm resistor and we are at the 50 percent position means approximately our rl has to be around 50 okay okay this, this one is the okay so this is this is 100 ohm resistor yes. so this. now let me show you the ammeter reading as well as the voltmeter reading, voltmeter reading. So, this, this is noted down. So, for which we can calculate the RL how VL by IL. Next is our requirement is to have the V thevenin or V open circuit when the uh, load is being removed and when the load is zero that is short circuit current. So, if you move it to the Z, uh, so in between that also we need to take some readings so for which we have we will kept it at 25 percent 75 percent of the resistance value and the 100 percent also and 100 percent also and uh, for a uh, short circuit we will kept it at zero okay. so now we'll we'll short it yeah, we will short it We have shot it. So, yes. you can notice it from the voltage value. It is coming out to be 0 since it is shorted. And this is the I short circuit. 
so everybody can note it down it is 0 0.07 isc i short circuit is 0 0.07 ampere right okay next is uh, we have to now open it to uh, let me open it so that connection we are removing from here so we have disconnected now it is an open circuit open circuit so you can note it from here the current is zero the current is zero and open circuit voltage is it's fluctuating around 2.2 2.3 like that hmm. so you can note it hmm. down it is roughly 2.2 uh, volt for the thev um, v thevenin or v open circuit now for the complete run we have taken all the data a priori and you can show it that is different voltages load voltages and different load current for which you can you can have this you can you can uh, have, have this, this have this graph right you can have this graph this is il axis this is vl axis so since vl il we have taken four data you can have this data here and then join and extrapolate uh, join and extrapolate so if we extrapolate here this side so this is corresponding to i l equal to zero and this obviously will be voc and in this point if we extrapolate this this is v thevenin uh, voltage vl equal to zero so this is nothing but your isc so this two point you will get it graphically now let me explain it how do you verify this Achha. so rl we have roughly having 43 ohm that is vl by il suppose we are going and to and that is for 50 percent setting 50 50 percent so, setting uh, theoretically that, it is 50 and we are getting hmm, 43 so 50 percent so now we are going to verify that whether 0 0.03 ampere load current is coming or not how we will verify this will be voc by r thevenin plus rl how we are getting r thevenin that is voc by isc so it is coming out to be 2.3 by 0 0.07 32.85 so now VOC 2.3, R thevenin 43.33, RL is 32.85. It is coming perfectly 0 0.03 ampere. That means it is getting verified. The thevenin's theorem is verified. Okay. So that is all about the thevenin's theorem verification.